being a cowboy is a way of life for me. I've always said, if you're gonna make it, you can't fake it, you gotta live it. Our business has turned over a new leaflet. We're working for different people. We're taking on bigger jobs, more dangerous jobs. It's a new chapter in our business. A few months ago, us guys wouldn't have even blinked at the thought of taking on a job like this. We would have welcomed the danger. But Cody and I have kids, and Booger's in a serious relationship. I'm telling you all the missing piece in my life. I thought about asking Jacqueline to marry me. Just the thought of you thinking about it has got me just Plum excited. It's a whole new ball game. When it comes to time, we have to really balance the home life and work. But once a cowboy, always a cowboy. We may have settled down, but we'll never be tied down. This is what we live for. This is what we do. This is who we are. This is a cowboy way. A lot of state today, fellas. It's a big deal, man, for him to call us. I mean, obviously he put some trust in us. There's quite a few hands over here in Mississippi, and he didn't call the boys from Mississippi, call us boys from Alabama. My brother-in-law, Chip, he's a local rancher, but he's got a really big cattle operation, and he needs some help moving some cattle around. He's really busy. He doesn't have the time to move this big group of cattle. It's gonna be a tough task. Let's get this fire put out, and let's get going. Yeah, I'm gonna put it out with this horrendous coffee right here. We're supposed to gather these cattle up in the pasture, put them out of gate, drive around the lake, through the soybeans, across the creek, and into the pens. Yeah, sounds real good on paper. All right, boys, let's skin out. You know, Chip told me, before we start moving these cattle, whatever you do, do not let them cattle get in the soybeans. Them soybeans cost a lot of money to plant, but if a bunch of cattle get across them and knock them down, then the combine's not gonna be able to pick them. The soybeans is my number one and only concern on this cattle drive. We gotta move a big herd of cattle for a pretty good ways. But these cattle are supposed to have been rotated and rotated and rotated. Every one of them just go out and hit the road and just swap pasture. But I think there's a pretty good chance we can get the job done. While I'm sitting here trying to hold these cattle around the dirt pit, cattle get anxious, cattle get hot. They're not moving no more. Now they're standing still. Now they're wondering what's on the other side, what's over here, what's going on. They're out of their little comfort zone. And all heck breaks loose. It all starts going wrong right at the beginning. Heck, we knock them towards the gate. Next thing you know, they turn around and run all back over us. They want to go this way, and we're trying to send them that way. <laughs> Yeah, they saw him looking at the soybeans. Hut, hut, hut. Hut, cow. Hut, hut. Right, running right down the edge of the coat. Get around him. Get around him. Turn him on now. Hut. Get in front of him. This is the one thing that we didn't want to happen. Get these cattle to the soybeans. Now, we got to get them out. We got it. We gotta figure something out now. We ain't got but two people here to hand these cows and these soybeans. They're already they're heading that way right now. Well, my horse can't handle much more of this. You hear me? Look, one of us break off, get on the tree line, and get right around there ahead of her. That's all we can do. The one thing that I didn't want to happen, that Chip told me to not let happen, was cattle getting the soybeans. They're going to the soybeans. Right now it's full panic mode. This is the last thing we wanted to happen. Cody, get around! Bubba, get in front of him! Get in front of him! We're, 
worst case scenario. We've got cattle everywhere. We got cattle in the road, we got cattle in the woods, we got them in the soybeans. Horses are about thumped, it's getting hot, and we ain't got nothing accomplished. The best thing for us to do is just stop. That didn't go as planned. It sure didn't. We right back where we started at daylight this morning. These horses are about thumped. This is exactly what we was trying to avoid. This does not look good on us. We didn't have enough men, and when them cattle got them soybeans, they just... The mood's not good. This isn't a situation we're used to being in. This is failure. I, I'm just, I'm not good at, I'm not good at failure at all. Stay for a minute, I'm ready to give up. I promise you there ain't no quitting me. Guys, we got to get this done. Let's, let's look at something real quick. We're not quitters, I can promise you that. We've got to come up with a better plan, and we've got to exit. Here we are at the creek. Cows are in this field. We know the pressure point is right there where them cattle come out of that one field into them beans. Last time we just eased, eased, eased. They got there bunched up, bunched up, bunched up, back. boom, exactly. If we can start them driving to that point, if they start wadding up again, we'll really put the heat to them. I mean, just really get them through it. That'd work. Wish y'all hadn't eaten them beans. We're ready to tackle this cattle drive with a clear head and a whole new game plan. Myself, Cody, and Booger, we're just gonna push some cattle out that gate. And we're not gonna let these cattle whoop us. We're gonna whoop the cattle. As soon as we get these cattle through the soybean fields and to the creek, they know where they're at now. They go right through the creek, up to the top of the hill, and hang a hard right towards the pins. Everything's starting to fall in place like it should be. Thank goodness. Hey guys, that's all of them. Woo. Job well done. Well, yeah. Made it pretty hard. Being happy with that, I don't know why it wouldn't be. Despite all the hiccups and hard times along the way, we got it done. Barely by the skin of our teeth, we got it done. You want some sweet taters? Oh, that was a good bite. Uh, uh. Howdy. Hey, babe. <laughs> There's your daddy. Hey, daddy. sugar booger, what you doing? How's your day been? It's been crazy. My day has been busy, too. It's so hot outside. I'm sure it is. Hey, sugar. How you doing? <laughs> you been a good girl today? She has been a handful. <laughs> you want to get out? This is what I've been dealing with all day. Oh, well. I spend 24 hours a day taking care of our daughter. During the day, of course, she is a full-time job, and at night, she hasn't figured out the whole sleep pattern thing yet, so I'm up with her multiple times. I wish I could sit in the house all day and watch her learn all these stuff. You really think I just sit in the recliner all day? Well, I mean, I wouldn't say all day, but I'd probably say half the day. I have to feed her multiple times, and bathe her, wash bottles, as you see, dishes, clothes, keep the house tidy. I do so much all day long. It's not just sitting there with the baby. That's easy stuff, though, babe. This this is easy right here. <laughs> OK. Well, you're welcome to do it. <laughs> I mean, I'm, that's fine with me. I'm, I'd love to swap for the day. All right. You'll be, mean, you'll be Mr. Mom for the day, and let's see how you handle it. That's fine. It's not as easy as you think. <laughs> see? 
And you, you always say you wait, you work from dusk to dawn. I work 24 seven. So let's see how you can handle it. You want to swap roles? That's fine. I'll do your job for a day. <laughs> <laughs> Think I'm kidding. I would love to get out there. I'm out there riding a thousand pound horse, dealing with five to 800 pound cattle, and she's dealing with a 20 pound bait. How hard could it be? You want to bet on this or something? Absolutely. I love a good bet. You want to bet? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if I win, I get to go to poker night. Okay, that's fine. And what do you want? I want a full-blown <laughs> stay at the spa. <laughs> With you. Like, you're coming, you're taking me. Stay at the spa. Okay, whatever. That won't be a problem. Okay. You're not going to last one hour out there. Well, this isn't as easy as what you think, Mr. Thompson. It won't be no problem at all. Her and her daddy are going to have a good time. Take that bow off. See, Daddy won't make you wear no bow either. <laughs> Coming up. Here comes the cowboy! Ah. <gasps> Did he turn his ankle for real? Hey, what's going on? What do you need? There's one heifer in here that's not bagged up, and I want her gone. <laughs> The biggest life-changing experience so far has been the birth of my baby boy. Right now, Misty's still a full-time nurse, and I'm at home, working our farm, and trying to babysit. What is he doing? Daughter! Here's your mom. What are you doing? I oh, smile so big when you get here. What are you doing? Look how good he's holding his head up. I know, he's so proud of you. I'm gonna put him up here, bud. Come on. Okay. Grab his bib. Oh my goodness. Are you laughing at Let's sit dad? up. Let's sit up. Hey. Like a grown man. Okay, so you know how he's been trying to roll over for what, a week now? Like mm -hmm. really hard? Yeah, he done it today. <laughs> yeah. I don't like missing all this stuff. I know it's really hard on my wife to be at the hospital, and she's always wanting me to send her pictures of Carter, like, what's he doing? What's he done now? Did he drink all his milk? Is he crawling yet? You know, like, I mean, at this point, it's very important not to miss none of that. Oh, yeah. That cast bottle trained. <laughs> that really was cool being here when he rolled over. I, mean, that was I cool. know. Like, coming home and you telling me that he did something and then I missed it, it's just awful. All he's gonna do is get bigger. So, I've been at the hospital for a long time now. Maybe just take a break from it while he's little. So, I mean, you want to stay home full time? Yeah. You know I'll support you. But the only thing that's got me kind of like, you know, held up is it wouldn't be much longer we could have our dream home paid for. I get that, and that's why we haven't started yet, because we don't want a mortgage. I know Cody doesn't want to put off our house just a little bit more, but, I mean, how many times is your firstborn just a couple months old? I'll think about it under one condition. Mm. You change all. The poopy divers. That sounds like a pretty decent trade, Carter Harris. <laughs> Jack was getting more and more serious, so it's real important for me to spend more time with Matthew as well. Matthew, jump at me. Whoa! <laughs> you gonna ride a bucking horse? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me and Matthew love being around each other. We love to laugh. We love to eat candy. We love to play cowboy. Being around him really makes me want my own children. All right, get on. <laughs> You better hang on. <laughs> You're like a magnet. Booger and Matthew get along very well. Even to this day, Booger's still very similar to my three-year-old. <laughs> They're very hard to handle sometimes. But 
it makes me feel really secure in our relationship that he wants to spend more time with Matthew. <laughs> Dodgeball, yeah, I'll play with you. Uh, this little man's not playing dodgeball. All right, let me play with these big kids real quick. Jacqueline's a mother, but she's very cautious with Matthew. Me, a little kid wants me to play dodgeball. Come on, I'll show him a little something, something. All right, go! <laughs> Stay right here. This is a pretty cool place. Matthew's having a great time. There's like 100 kids running around this place, and they're all having a good time. Ooh, that was not nice. Don't throw it too hard. This kid's like 10 years old with a full beard. I said if he throws one more ball at my head, he's mine. I got little Matthew over watching me. I decided I was gonna really go after him. Did he turn his ankle for real? I rolled my ankle. I don't know if it's broken, sprained, or what, but I know it hurts. Little kids, heck, they're still jumping on the trampoline around me. It's like, give me a break. This thing's hurting. Oh. Y'all win. Oh. <laughs> Our fun day is over. I'm too old for that stuff. Last thing I bargained for when I took Matthew to a playroom is a sprained ankle. When I think about being more serious with Jacqueline, this is gonna be an everyday thing. The idea of being a dad, man, I don't know if I'm cut out for it. What'd I say? You got hurt. I never even said I was a good dog ball player. Please come help me for a few minutes. Can you kind of hurry? There's a storm coming. Yeah. All right, thank you. It's a big blessing that my wife's home today because I'm in a pinch. I really need some help, and I think she can help me. She's a good enough horseman to be able to help me. Hey, what's going on? What do you need? There's one heifer in here that's not bagged up, and I want her gone. OK. She's bunched up in the middle. I just okay. I can't get her out by myself. You want my slipper? No, but you can hold my phone. My wife's been barrel racing her whole life. She grew up riding them horses that turn really tight circles. That's why I called her out here, because I know she can get into the herd and handle it. Heck, she probably do it better than myself. Hey, okay, just bring them forward. I already sorted. Bring them forward over. There you go. The problem is these heifers have been running together for the last few weeks, and they really don't want to separate. It's hot, it's humid, it's wet. The cattle just don't want to cooperate. Hey! Baby, you okay? Are you all right? I'm okay, I'm okay. Just check the horse. Is he okay? Are you okay? I'm worried about the horse. Are you sure you're not hurting nowhere? I'm just worried about him. Are you sure he's okay? Yeah, he's fine. We'll get him unsaddled and get him washed off. We'll just we'll come back and do this another day. No, we're gonna see. For my wife to get up after a, a spill like that hey! and push to finish the job, that really says something about this. I've ridden with cowboys. I've ridden with men, grown men, that that would have took them out of the game for the day. You know, maybe having my wife around is a good idea. Maybe she can teach me something. Come on. Okay. Coming up. I'm telling y'all the missing piece in my life. Jacqueline is an amazing woman, and she deserves everything in life. I want to be the one that gives it to her. I love you. Good morning. Good morning. You ready? Ready for what? You're babysitting Andy today. That won't be a problem at all. I can handle it. 
I've been owed poker night ever since Kaylee tricked me into going to diaper class. I'm winning this bet. I don't know why Kaylee thinks it's so hard. I mean, Annie's eight and a half months old. All she does is eat and sleep. Well, I'm gonna go out there and get started. Your list is in the kitchen on the counter. Follow it to a T. The fact that I have to go out there and do Bubba's chores doesn't bother me a bit. I've never been scared to get dirty and I will get out of the house and go do it, no problem. <gasps> I'll be okay. back. Okay. I'd probably get more dirty feeding our child than I will cleaning out some horse stall. Here's the list. Oh no. Let's sit right here, baby. Come on. Andy. Andy. Here, baby. Hey. Andy. He's talking to you. No, no, no. Oh, oh. Mm, yum, yum. Really? Did you really just stick your hand in there? Seriously? Really? Andy, really? Let me get you a napkin. You make a mess, girl. Andy, seriously? Seriously? You ever wanted to ride horses on the beach? <laughs> I really always have. Really? Yeah. I'm it's trying to be nice. romantic. Yeah. I did a good job. I like it. Mine and Jacqueline's relationship had done nothing but grow. I mean, ever since the moment we met each other, we've become best friends. And it's just, we've gotten closer and closer and closer. Let me tell you how special it is to have you and Matthew, and how much y'all mean to me. Well, this is kind of easy. It feels like I've known you my whole life. I feel the same way. Jacqueline's so wonderful in so many aspects. She's gorgeous, she's very smart, and she is doing really well at understanding the cowboy way of life. She has the missing pieces that I've been missing in life. You couldn't be more perfect. Dark hair. <laughs> beautiful smile. Gorgeous eyes. <laughs> Heck, I don't really know what she sees in a guy like me. You know, I wasn't sure I'd ever find somebody who had the same beliefs and goals as me. You know, all I ever really wanted in life was to be a mother. I finally got that, and circumstances, you know, changed. Changed, and in the last two years, it's been stress and struggle, and finally, I feel like a weight has been lifted off of me, you know? Really? So I feel very lucky. Me and Jacqueline first started dating. I found out her prior husband, James, had passed away. And I realized Matthew didn't have a dad. I immediately felt like the Lord put it on my heart to be right here. This is right where he wanted me. And I still feel that way today. I'm telling you all the missing piece in my life. And I mean it from the bottom of my heart. That was my horse. I just take his left leg and throw over there. Love you. I love you. Not beautiful or what? It really is. You know when Misty um, set us up on that first date? I was excited to go out with somebody. But I was happy that you didn't know me and you didn't know what I went through because sometimes I feel like it defines me and I don't know how you know, it feels to start a relationship with someone who's lost a loved one and has a child. It kills me. 
You know, because James would be such a good dad. It's really, really not fair. And I'm sorry, if, you know, if I don't know how to handle it or if I talk about him too much, but um, he should have been allowed to raise his son. Matthew's father, James, passed away when he was 13 months old. I didn't expect to be starting over, you know. But I do feel like I deserve to have the life that I've always wanted, and so does Matthew. So I'm working on it. I see so many pictures and hear so many great stories, and I've seen some of the videos you post of him and Matthew, <laughs> and it just breaks my heart. I think that James would like you. I really do. I think y'all would get along. I hope so, because I really do try to be right and be there for y'all to make y'all feel the love that y'all deserve. I'm doing a good job. I'm honored just to have the opportunity. <clears throat> I'm honored just to have the opportunity. You got me tearing up. Hi. Jacqueline is an amazing woman, and she deserves everything in life. I want to be the one that gives it to her. It's funny being around you and Matthew. It's like breathing so easy. Good having Matthew with us has never, ever, never, ever felt like a burden or nothing. It's just perfect. I love you. I love you. Coming up. Andy, this daddy daycare has turned out to be a whole lot harder than I thought it would be. I'm ready to take that next big step with Jacqueline, but I'm almost more nervous to see how Matthew is going to react. I really, really love your mama. Would it be all right with you if I married her? <laughs> Feeder, bather. Fold clothes, dresser, nap. Your mama's got this all out of order. Ah! Yep, it's time to eat this bottle. Let's let you eat this bottle and we'll put you down for a nap. Okay. Chunky thighs. <laughs> got daddy's thighs for sure. I'm a country girl. I'm used to getting dirty. It don't bother me a bit. When I win this bet, me and Bubba are gonna have a full day getting pampered. Are you not gonna go to sleep for daddy? Huh? Andy, while you play, daddy's gotta fold clothes. I may not be good at folding or keeping things organized, but the clothes are where they need to go. I mean, that's enough, right? Daddy daycare has turned out to be a whole lot harder than I thought it would be. Bath time's over. <sighs> Our parenting style is to lead by example. Andy sees me close my eyes, maybe she'll close hers too.
I was out here checking these heifers and one of them lost her calf. I need y'all out here to come check, see what happened. All right, I'll see y'all in a second. All right, bye. No one that has a set of gals or having babies wants to see this happen. But when it does happen, truth of the matter is that you have to get things done. lost one. Sure did. I was looking at the heifers this morning, you know, because it's their first time being pregnant, and I noticed that one of them was missing. So I came out here looking, and this is what I found. We need to get this out of here, because those buzzards will be circling in a little bit. We got other mamas having babies. I'll get it buried. Come on, Harris, I'll get that excavator. Call me up there, I'll bring it back down here. You can one. Come on, Carter. Time you start learning how to drive that excavator. <laughs> We gotta make sure that we can keep everybody safe, and the way that we do that is we have to bury this baby calf. I can't believe it, man. That's a thousand dollars out of our pocket. Them heifers is what I've been shooting for. I mean, I think our goal was replacement heifers, you know what I mean? And the first smut heifer born of the year, born dead. That's part of it. I'm glad Misty was around, no joke. I didn't have time to check them this morning. And having her, you know what I mean, just ride through them. Oh yeah, that's good of Misty. Notice there was a problem. I'm proud of Misty. You know what I mean? She's riding through them cattle, sees there's one heifer away from the rest of them. And for her to take the initiative riding them woods, check everything out. I mean, glad she's learning this type of stuff. It takes a little bit of load off us from one of us having to go out Man, and check this morning. Kidding. Come on, let's get this thing buried and get back to work. I got too much stuff to do. All right. Coming up. Bubba. What? She doesn't have a diaper on. Up. Oh, she's up and she's peeing on me. <laughs> Parenting 101. Put a diaper on your baby. <laughs> told Bubba that taking care of Andy is exhausting, but when she takes a nap, you know what? I still have a thousand other things to do, and he's in here passed out with her. Bubba. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Sleeping. I've been out there doing my chores. I've done all my chores, too. You did everything. You went grocery shopping, vacuumed and mopped. I may have, forgot a, like I may have forgot a few things. I did everything except for mowing because your lawnmower wouldn't Okay, crank. so that's not everything. Oh, you just need to know how to turn it on. It's operator error <laughs> what it is. No. Oh, I won the bet. What you talking about? You didn't go grocery shopping, you didn't mop, you didn't vacuum. Bubba. What? She doesn't have a diaper on. How do you forget that? Mm, I just got overwhelmed, okay? You didn't put on a diaper. That disqualifies you right there. I'm not done yet. I was just taking a little power nap with my daughter. <laughs> OK, well, I win. I got to hand it to you. This is a lot of work, and you're a good mother, and you've got a lot of patience. I'm better off outside, and you're better off <laughs> taking care of her. I'm glad we agree. I really enjoyed watching her, though, taking care of her today, even though I didn't get the uh, whole list completed. Yeah. And I still smell like butternut squash, <laughs> but I enjoyed it. Well, yeah. I smell like horse manure, so don't worry. That's all right. I'm used to that. You should be used to that smell. <laughs> I am. But I want to start doing this more. I'm glad you spent time with her. You know, I, I have too. her all the time. I know you don't get home till late, but days like this are good for both of us. It gives me a break and shows you what I do all the time. Yeah. Let's go lay her down. She'll sleep better in there. Whatever you say, boss lady. I'm an expert at this. Well, I'm apparently the novice, so. As tough as it was today taking care of Andy, I've learned a lot. And I've realized that I need to take a more active role in her life and spend a lot more time with her. <laughs> oh, she's up and she's peeing on me. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Here, take her. No, I don't forget diapers. You forgot <sighs> the diaper you got peed on. Parenting 101. Put a diaper on your baby. <laughs> what am I supposed to do now? Go bathe her again? Yeah, you're the one who forgot the diaper. <sighs> <laughs> I 
After you get done bathing her, you can cook me supper. Peek-a-boo. Oh, booger, how you doing, son? You ain't gotta get up, just give me some loving. Okay, sweetie, I love you. How are you today? Well, I'm doing better, son. What you been up to? Well, haven't been up to much of anything, but doing a lot of crocheting. It's what you do when you get old. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm getting older. I tell you well, what. You, you can pick up crocheting. <laughs> I might have to. Grandma's not just a grandma, she's my best friend. She's got 80 plus years of knowledge in that head of hers, and she's got a dang good one on her shoulders. When I really need to know something, that's exactly who I go to for some advice. Oh, look at there. How about that? That's fine. Thank you. Mm. You're gonna have to bring Jacqueline over so I can show her how I do this banana pudding. Well, that's exactly how I want her to learn, because if you learn it right the first time, then you don't have to go back. I've been thinking about Jacqueline a lot and our relationship, and man, I don't know, maybe it's just time we went on to the next step. You know, that's one thing I never did talk to Papa about, about proposing. I never had, never was that far along when he was still here. <laughs> I know. You'll know when the time comes, and uh, then you'll propose to her, and uh, you'll be nervous, because you'll wonder, is she going to say yes or no? <laughs> this is a really big deal that I'm telling Grandma that I'm thinking about proposing to Jacqueline. Her and my grandpa was married 65 years, and one of the biggest wishes in his life was for me to find a good woman. Judging from Grandma's reaction, I really feel like Jacqueline might be the right one. She'll say yes. Think so? Yeah, she will. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I love you. I sure love you. So I come and thank him. You really impressed me when he fell off that horse and he didn't let it bother you. You know, when that horse fell, it really scared me. Hey! Babe, you okay? Are you all right? And for you to step up, kind of dust yourself off, that says something about your character. That says something about who you are. You know, I know Missy's wanting to stay at home. That could possibly be a, a really good idea. But the fact is, if we're going to get our dream home built, two incomes will help. You know, I, I've been thinking about what you mentioned the other day about staying at home. I, I don't think our dream home's quite as important as you staying home with Carter and helping me out. So if that's what you feel you want to do, that's what you need serious? to do. Serious? Serious is hard to take. This is what you want to do. I mean, I kind of have a business idea. Oh, Lord. I want to start a cow business. Cow business? Yeah. You want to start your own deal? Yeah, I'm serious. I already have my appointment with the loan officer and everything. We talk about everything, and you have not told me about this. Well, this couldn't be a reality if I wasn't able to stay home. Have you thought of a name for your business yet? Full Moon Cattle Company. Full Moon Cattle Company. If that's what you want to do, I'll stand behind you 100%. I hope so, because I can't do it without you. Coming up. I really, really love your mama. Would it be all right with you if I married her? Um. I haven't really thought of a backup plan yet. What if Matthew don't want me to marry his mom? Whoa, I, I see a fish. Where? Right there. Oh yeah, that's a big old fish. We need to catch him. I've been trying to spend more and more time with Matthew because I feel like we need to do more guy things. I'm gonna take him to a real special spot to go fishing. It's the same place that I used to fish when I was a child. I got a little something I want to talk to him about. You ready to do some fishing? Yeah. Say yes, sir. I mean, yes, sir. I like that. Taking on a bigger role in Matthew's life, that's a really big deal because that child watches and does everything you do. Did you fit my tour? I sure did. Now we're gonna catch a big fish. 
Okay. Got it? Thank you. You're welcome. Check my bait. I gotta check mine too. You gotta check your bait? Yeah, I do. I think you wanna try to bite it. Mine just got that bite too. Did you? You just had a bite? Yeah. Okay, really? Whoop. Hold it right here, not really. It sure is fun. Oh, you got a fish? Reel it, Matthew. Reel yeah, it. Yeah, I do. There you go, Matthew. Stay with him. Reel him, bud. I don't know. I you don't do, know. really. I do. I really, really, Matthew? Oh, my goodness. Look. Stand up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that one. I just touched the fish. I'm so proud of you, buddy. I'm ready to take that next big step with Jacqueline. But I'm almost more nervous to see how Matthew is going to react. You like fishing with me? Yes, sir. I think you'll make a great fishing buddy. You normally ask a girl's father for his blessing and his daughter's hand in marriage. But he's passed away. James has passed away. And out of respect for the family and them men, I feel like it's only right if I ask the man of the family. And that's Matthew. Hey, Matthew, I brought you out here today because I wanted to talk to you. You know what I want to talk to you about? What? Matthew is really little to be understanding what I'm asking him, but I still think it's very important to have this conversation. I really, really love your mama. Would it be all right with you if I married her? Um, I don't know. I haven't really thought of a backup plan yet. What if Matthew don't want me to marry his mom? Does that mean I got to break up with Jacqueline? Hey, Matthew, can I marry your mommy? To? Yeah, I want to. I really want to marry your mommy. And that would make me your stepdad. You like that? Look at me. I'm asking you a question. Can I marry your mama? Can I? You can marry my mommy. I can? Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. It's such a blessing when Matthew tells me, sure. He wants me to be a stepdad. Yeah. That's awesome feeling. You know how much I love you? This much. This much. That's a lot, ain't it? I love you, too. You love me? Mm-hmm. Aw, oh, thank you, buddy. Can I have a loving? Oh. You know, I can never take the place of Matthew's real dad, but I feel like that someone has to be on this earth to help raise that child. And now that I made this promise to Matthew, I've got to go through with it. I'm fixing to ask a woman to marry me. I think you're going to be my best fishing buddy for life. Yeah.